Hi, my name is Alex, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about 10 things that you can do in Sweden that you just can't do or does not exist in the United States. Now, my name is Alex, for those who don't know, I just moved to Sweden about less than two years ago and from the United States, and I think it's way better. Number one on the list, in Sweden, you get 240 parental day of leave. Not only that, my wife also gets 240 days of parental leave as well. Here's the best part and the one that messes me up the most. If you had at least a job for more than or at least minimum of one year, you get 80% of your salary of paid sick leave to be with your kid. In the United States, that would never happen. You would have to find like a parent or a close friend or family to take care of your kids. And even if you take the day off or a week off to be with your kid because they're sick, you might not have a job. Number two, here in Sweden, if any meat that you buy from the store goes bad, they have something called Fask Varu Guarantee, which ensures that if the meat goes bad from the store that you bought it, you can bring it back to the store and they'll give you double of your money back for the meat that you bought. And that is only if it expires. As opposing to the United States, you don't get any money back whatsoever. You lost your money. Number three, if you are sick and you have a doctor's appointment or you have any appointments to the doctor's office whatsoever, if you're using tr public transportation, you get a free ride to the clinic or to the hospital and from the clinic back. In the United States, you would have to find your way, call an Uber, call a friend or someone to take you to the hospital. And if you decide to even call the ambulance, it'll probably cost you 2000. You might as well just run a limousine to take you to the hospital while you're at it. Number four, people are way more civil than they are from the United States. For example, if someone drops like a pair of gloves or you lost your wallet on the way, you drop something or anything that you drop gets lost, People in Sweden would literally put it or hang it back to the nearest place where you might have dropped it so you could see that you lost it. For example, my daughter lost a glove, so when we went back to go for it or to look for it, it was hanging by the gate near that same walkway where we were walking. If you were to drop a wallet, a cell phone, or lost some keys or anything like that, most likely what people here in Sweden would do is go to the nearest police station and drop it off there so you can have the chance of finding whatever it is that was important to you that you lost. In the United States, they don't do that. <laughs> It'll either end up on Craigslist or someone's taking it. Seriously. <laughs> Number five, giving birth here in Sweden is completely free at the hospitals. I know this because I have two of my kids that were born here in Sweden and it didn't cost me a thing. The only thing that I had to pay for was $10 over uh, for my wife to stay overnight you know and that's it 10 us dollars per night to stay at the hospital as opposing to the united states it will cost you nearly or more than fifty thousand dollars if you don't have insurance or anything of that sort number six the cost of pre-k or aka what they call here in sweden for school on is affordable as hell here in sweden an average not so good daycare if you don't have a family or friend that works there will cost you around 300 US dollars. That's like $1,200 a month just for one kid. And you won't believe how much my kids are paying to go to four school on here in Sweden. My kid pays no more than 120 bucks a month and they get food, they get to play in activities, all of that is included as well. Number seven, here in Sweden, you get free dental health care until you're the age of 23. I find that to be amazing because in the United States, I never had free health care. I mean, even though I had Medicaid, which was like provided by the government, um, my parents always had to pay a co-pay fee uh, for me to get dental assistance. And I'm happy that even though I wasn't born and raised in Sweden, of course, my kids get to experience this opportunity to, you know, get their teeth clean and check for cavities, plaques, and all of those stuff that could damage their teeth in the future, of course. And I'm happy about that here. And of course, this only applies to Swedish citizens or there are permanent residents of living here in Sweden, of course. So yeah, it's a little bit too late for this gap to be fixed. Number eight, I am so happy here in Sweden, I don't have to face 
or be a victim of police brutality here in Sweden. Here in Sweden, most of the police officers, I can't say all because I have not met all of them, but most of them where I've been, they treat everyone equally up and they uphold the law. Their job is to literally protect and serve the people and that's what they do here. I'm glad that I don't have to ever experience ever again the fact that if I meet an officer or if I see an officer, I might be endangered for my life, especially, you know, as a black American, it could be very, very difficult in certain situations, of course. Even though the racism still exists everywhere here, including Sweden, um, I, I find it to be very fair and very, I'm very happy to live in a country where, you know, I'm not you know, being a victim of police brutality because of my skin color. And that's something that I appreciate here in Sweden, of course. Number nine, filing your taxes here is completely free. Here in Sweden, whenever you decide to file your taxes, it is completely free. The best part about filing your taxes, because everything is connected to your pursuit number, they have the track of everything that you've done and all the transaction. So filing your taxes, takes less than two minutes and it gives you the exact estimate after you finish, finish filing for your taxes of when you get your taxes, which is less than two months. If there's no problems what's at all, you get your taxes less than two months as soon as possible. And that's what makes the tax system here way better than the United States, in my opinion. And last but not least, number 10, you get free education. Here in Sweden, as long as you're paying your taxes, which of course everyone has to by law, then you're entitled to get free education. Not only that, I wish I knew about the free educational system that they have here in Sweden. I would not have at least spent thousands and thousands of dollars in college. I could have just came here to get my bachelor's degrees and it would have been just as good as studying in the United States. In the University of Miami, the average semester correct me if I'm wrong, starts off anywhere from $23,000 and up. With that money, I could have started a business or done something or saved that money for my kids, of course. And I wish I would have knew that. And for those of you guys who are Swedish and you heard all of these 10 uh, reasons or 10 things that you can't do in the United States that you can do in Sweden, don't take advantage of the system. You know, be proud. I hope you guys enjoyed the 10 things that you can't do in the United States as opposing to Sweden. If you like this content, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead, like and subscribe for more of my ventures. I will be dropping videos about my experience here in Sweden soon. Until next time, peace.